Next question is from SL Ward 80. Is it overkill to take my resistance bands to work and do some small intermittent workouts during my downtime? Not only is it you mean not trigger overkill. sessions. Oh yeah, <laughs> I know this was like a nice little. Softball some, they must not be following sessions. the program. No, this not only is this not overkill. This is one of the best things you could possibly do for your body. Yep, it will blow you away. I don't care what your workout is, by the way. So, so trigger sessions. Uh, this is what they're kind of explaining what trigger sessions are. Are found in Maps Anabolic. But honestly, I don't care what program you follow. I don't care if you follow our programs, if you do your own program, if you follow an athletic program. Do this, try it out, watch what happens. It's literally like, imagine if all workouts were different cars. Throw a turbo on, what happens? They all get faster. So it doesn't matter what you do. Now here's the key with this. These small intermittent band workouts need to be low intensity. What you don't want to do is have hard workouts all day long. You don't want to blow the motor. Yeah, you're gonna you're just gonna overtrain. But if they're if they're low to moderate intensity, you're going through just ranges of motion. You're getting a little bit of a pump. You're just moving. You'll notice faster recovery, better pumps. You'll get stronger faster, and you'll build muscle faster, and you'll burn body fat even faster. Even also, here's another benefit. It, let's imagine if none of that happened. Let's imagine all those amazing benefits I just listed didn't actually happen, although they do. Here's another benefit to doing this. You have energy all day long. Yeah. That, that was something I didn't. Re I, I had no idea, but I noticed when I would do my trigger sessions throughout the day, because I used to work so many hours, right? I get to work at 8 a.m. Oftentimes, I would leave at 8 or 9 p.m. I had a small personal training studio, uh, and so I was just there all the time. And when I would do these trigger sessions throughout the day, so many times it would be like noon, like, oh my God, I do not feel like doing a trigger set. But I would yeah. do it and then I'd feel energized and I would feel productive and I'd think sharper and I'd have better, I'd do a better job as a trainer. So if you sit at a desk, man, I don't care if you have no exercise goals, do this and you'll perform better at your job as well. No, it's interesting because I was always trying to explain active recovery to clients. And so um, even myself personally, like in between really hard workouts, um, I would make sure to just move around. And I always thought like, you know, as long as I get in certain ranges of motion and I, and I move my body around, I can get better blood flow. Uh, and, and that's going to help sort of, you know, restore my body and provide me with, you know, more energy going into the next day, which is true and which was great. But now adding, you know, rubber bands into that too and mm -hmm. getting that kind of like, uh, like, you know, like low intensity contraction to really pump that blood into the muscles, like was a totally different experience. It did it like it charged it even more uh, and, and gave me, you know, an added bit of performance even more so uh, going back to the workout. So it was very, very interesting. And it's one of those things it's, it's, we can talk about it to death, but until you actually do, you know, some of these like short workouts and, and you're very consistent with it, uh, you know, you're you're gonna see what that does. It's if, it's amazing. If I want to get ripped fast, trigger sessions. It's like nothing compares to trigger sessions for getting lean um in a hurry. Bands are great because you can attach them at different angles. So you have like a huge variety of exercises. Yeah. And what I would do for it's me not very damaging either. No, no, not at all. It's like I said, they facilitate recovery. What I would do is I would do one exercise per major muscle group. So I'd go rows, presses, overhead presses curls, extensions, and then I do like uh, some lunges for my legs. And then that would be my workout. And it would be literally eight minutes long, max, kind of low intensity. Another way you could do it is you could just focus on two or three muscle groups that you need special emphasis on. So, oh, I want to bring up my hamstrings. I want to bring up my my back and my shoulders. Okay, so do a few rounds of, of just those uh, body parts. But personally, I advocate for whole body because I think there's a whole body signal that it sends. Um, and in my experience, that seems to be the most effective way to do them. I use three, 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 three rounds of a circuit. So yeah. I would do one exercise. So, you know, like you said, you know, chest flies, body weight squats, band, you know, lateral raises, rows. I bet I would do 15 to 20 reps, mm -hmm. no rest between each exercise. The only time I get rest is after I do the whole full body one time, give myself about a minute or something like that for the heart rate maybe yep, to come yep. down a little bit. And then I go through again. I do that two times, you're done. And you're done in that in eight minutes. Mm -hmm. It's so it's so quick. I think the only mistake I see with trigger sessions or applying this is we all have, we have a tendency to want to do more. Yeah, you want to make it a workout. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and my goal is actually not to sweat during this. It's like literally I want to get a little bit of a burn and a pump from it. That's it. That's it. And that I don't it should not be struggling to get each rep out. You should not be sweating from it. It does you do not need to make this super intense. You'd be far better off actually doing it a couple times a day than going really really hard yeah. at it.